how is it that the media keeps saying over and over again that what happened in Ukraine? Now, here he's got his son. He gets put in charge of Ukraine by Obama 2014. Lo and behold, Maurice Beholding starts paying these massive amounts of money to Hunter Biden and his partner, uh, this, this guy, what's his name, Devin uh, Archer, and they're paying this, this fortune to them, but they don't have any, or maybe Art, Devin does, I know Hunter Biden, no experience with Ukraine, no experience in gas, oil, energy whatsoever, so then the big question is, well, why were, why were they doing it? And then when the prosecutor, Shokin, is investigating them in Ukraine, uh, doesn't that then show a real reason why Joe Biden would leverage a hundred, uh, a billion taxpayer dollars so that they fire the prosecutor that's looking into corruption with his son? And now we have a golfing picture of this guy at Burisma Holdings with Devin Archer, Hunter, and crazy Uncle Joe when he's president. Sean, I mean, I've been, I'm not really a golfer, but I've certainly been around with family members, and you are a golfer. You know, and well, I know. Well, wait, that, that, that's actually, those that are listening that may have played with me, that is up for dispute and debate. <laughs> <laughs> because, but the one thing we all I, know. I, I don't have the time, Jeff, but go ahead. Out there on a golf course, yeah. they talk. What do they talk about? If they're in business, they talk about business and politics, etc. The notion that these four people were out there and had absolutely no discussion of what was going on with two of the people in the group is not believable. The idea, now that we know, I, I, listen, the media is doing us a favor. The mob, again, is doing us a favor because now they've drawn attention to Hillary, the DNC, and Ukrainian influence in the 2016 election. Now, Kaylee, they, they cared about it when it was Donald Trump and, and Trump-Russia collusion, even though that was disproven four times. But they didn't care about Hillary's dirty Russian dossier or, as the New York Times finally concluded two and a half years too late, like the Russian disinformation from the get-go that was also used to spy on the campaign transition team and presidency. Uh, and it was all false. Separate issue. Well, we're dealing with those. But now uh, I think they've opened up a door that we get to see what Biden did and what Hillary did. And now maybe they'll be held accountable as they should have been from the get-go. That's right, and we're just at the beginning of seeing the wrongdoing of Joe Biden because you mentioned that affidavit uh, that exists that basically is from that prosecutor who was fired saying, look, I, I was fired because I was looking into Joe Biden's son. But there's also a second affidavit uh, from a company that was representing Hunter Biden, and that company says we intentionally leaked information uh, to the world community 